Oh, thank you everyone for joining. We are so happy that you came and um, we're gonna have some fun for the next hour or so as Melissa and my sh myself share about um, something that has changed our lives. And we're gonna educate for the next hour on products that have helped people find natural solutions to health concerns, to look and feel better and to have a clean chemical free home and body. So if, uh, if you'd like to make some notes, get out your pen and paper. If you wanna take um, some screenshots of some of the graphics that we have, feel free to do that. So thank everybody, I met everybody. My name is Lori Ellerby. I'm a wellness educator with Young Living Essential Oils. And um, just to tell a little bit about my story that um, prior to getting started with Young Living, I was having terrible problems with breakouts and rashes on my skin, which I eventually figured out it was related to um, fragrance in soaps and shampoos and cleaning pro products that I'm using. Does anybody else have, have had a problem like that at all? Anybody can relate to that? Yeah. And then also, even I was thinking today how far back my sensitivity to perfumes really was. I mean, back to when I was like in my 20s, probably 30 years ago that I realized I was becoming sensitive to perfumes and things with fragrance in them. So um, I went through my phase after I finally identified that it was the fragrance that was causing my problem. And then I did some research and realized that fragrance is just like an umbrella word for like um, 4,000 different chemicals <laughs> that, you know, mm -hmm. they don't have to disclose what they are. And um, so I went through my phase then of fragrance free everything mm -hmm. and very time consuming shopping time, you know, looking at the ingredients, but still the things I got that were fragrance free, they still had like all kinds of chemicals in them. And they had, and they still had kind of like a weird chemical-y smell to them. And so I was like, oh, I don't really know that these are any better for my health or my family at all. So around the same time, I, um, my friend Denise started using Young Living products. And I started doing some research about their products and realized that everything that they had was, um, if it had a smell to it, it was a smell from plants, from essential oils, pure essential oils. And so I started using all different kinds of products that they had from soaps to shampoos, to all the oils, to uh, you know personal care products. And no longer did I have to do all that time consuming searching because I knew where I could get clean products to use for myself and um, my family. So not only did that save me a lot of time and hassle, but now my home can smell good again because from the sense of essential oils rather than chemical fragrance. So I just wanted to um, start by sharing just a few statistics about um, things that commonly we do in our homes and things that I did and maybe that you guys do or did. And um, one thing is, did you know that, that, that Americans spend between 80 and 90% of their time inside their house <laughs> and that the average American home contains more than 63 hazardous chemical products? And it's probably even more than that. Also mm -hmm. that our inside air is five to seven times more polluted than our outside air. From our deodorants to perfumes, toilet bowl cleaners, painkillers, skincare products, air fresheners, candles. We've been slowly poisoning ourselves and our families with hundreds of chemical compounds that our body has no way of dealing with. And we see the, the effect of it because chronic illness of some kind plagues about half of the adult population in America. And now how many children are we seeing with health problems? Like how many kids do you know that have asthma? So many kids. So, you know, uh, truthfully, and no judgment here because I did all these same things, a less than healthy lifestyle is responsible, you know, for most of these problems, mm -hmm. which includes the, you know, exposure to the to toxic substances that we bring into our own homes, the toxic foods, the toxic things we drink, the chemical vapors from our cleaners and the things we put on our skin. So 
So, but what if there was a way for, for you to get the kind of results that you're used to getting with your synthetic, synthetic products while using substances that are safe and natural and health promoting? Would you wanna give that a try? I would, yes. And what if you could save money doing that also? Does that sound good? Yes. Mm -hmm. So just to tell you a little bit about the company of Young Living, it's over 25 years old. It's a billion dollar company and it is founded on the principle that nature has powerful natural substances from plants that meet the needs that we have today. Um, Young Living owns and runs hundreds of acres of um, sustainable organic farmland in the United States, in um, Canada, France, Ecuador, Croatia. And currently they're doing business in almost every um, nation around the globe. And they're the fastest growing direct sales company in the United States. So it's, it's quite the company that has quite the history of doing natural products. So what we're gonna talk about tonight primarily is essential oils. So I'm thinking everybody here has probably heard of essential oils, right? We, we know what they are. But we're going to talk about that a little bit and then talk about um, the 12 specific oils that are very popular oils. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share a couple slides here. Bear with me one second while I get my screen share going. Okay. So here we go. So essentials are the most, essential oils are the most powerful part of the plant. They're like the lifeblood of the plant. Maybe you've taken a, a plant, an aromatic plant and broken off a leaf or a stem and seen some fluid come out. Well, that's basically the, um, what would be, can be condensed down into the essential oil of the plant, super concentrated. And um, essential oils can support every, system in our body. So you see the ones listed here. I mean, it's like everything, skeletal, muscular, circulatory, endocrine, respiratory, immune system, our hormones, our brain health, healthy weight, um, emotions, and stress. So hold on one second, let me stop sharing. And Young Living is the largest worldwide grower, distiller, and distributor of pure essential oils and has the reputation of providing some of the most pure and powerful essential oils available. So we're gonna talk now about what essential oils can do for you and me. And it's a lot more than just smelling good. So we're gonna um, turn the floor over to Melissa now. Um, and she's going to share some of the, her story and some of the results that she's had for herself and her family. So um, for me, the, the need was a little different. It was um, Alex, basically, my husband. He was, he or he has always been suffering from severe migraines. And they're quite debilitating but every time you go to the doctor, they just prescribe you pills. And so it came to the point where he didn't want to take them anymore because of the way they made him feel. He's like, yes, they take the pain away, but I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm dead for three days because it knocks me out and it makes me feel weak and groggy. And I hate how they make me feel. So I started exploring other avenues. Like, what do I do to help him manage his migraines. And we started also um, doing more of a clean eating and trying to write off what was triggering all these migraines. Um, but it once we did all the clean eating and the exercise and everything, he still had migraines. And so we were looking for a way to manage, manage the pain. So Lori actually talked to me about essential oils. And at first I was like, yeah, but his case is severe. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. and I wasn't, I wasn't buying it, but she gave it me to try. And she's like, here, give it to your husband, try it. it it's not, it's not going to hurt you if you just try. Mm -hmm. So um, we started doing essential oil therapy for his pain, different. Um, actually, at the end of today, we're going to, I'm going to show the 
migraine. I have my own little recipe of migraine tension roller um, mm -hmm. to, to help control. So it's not, nothing will take, we're all witnesses here, right? Yeah. <laughs> nothing will take this away except, you know, Jehovah's kingdom, basically. But mm -hmm. until then, we need ways to help cope. And it has helped us cope tremendously with the pain, with the nausea associated with migraines, um, with that um, tension, because he gets like this pain in the back of his neck. And mm -hmm. so it starts affecting his hands um, and all these mm -hmm. things. So after I saw him get better, and being able to cope with essential oils, I was like, wow, there's something to it. So I started reading on the science and why it starts mm -hmm. helping. And I really started looking at other things. And I have to admit in the beginning, I was like, oh, I can get peppermint because one of the components is peppermint. I can get peppermint oil at the pharmacy. And I got a, a pharmacy and I hated it. My husband hated it. He says, it doesn't smell like, because now we compare it to what a pure peppermint smell is supposed to be like. Mm -hmm. And he's like, this doesn't smell like peppermint. This doesn't work. I don't like this. And <laughs> so I went back and I'm like, Lori, it's true. <laughs> the quality is so important. Mm -hmm. It's so important in essential oils. And that's why I'm here today, because I found something that's good, that works, and I just want to share that. Um, and not only has that affected that, but other avenues. Then I started looking into how can I control my asthma? Because I was using my asthma pump constantly. How can I control sleeping better? Um, and then I started looking into all their other products like lotions and deodorants and other things. And so, I really liked it. And so I wanted to share what we found. So let's start a little bit of what we found. One of those um, things that we can do or three ways that we can use the essential oils are aromatically. So when you, um, when you um, bring them near your nose, you can, um, not only use them like in your hand, but you can diffuse them in your home and in your car. Um, you can wear a diffuser necklace or there's bracelets, but um, this, it says, uh, this may be the most effective method because it doesn't have to travel through your digestive system. You can also wear them topically. Essential oils have a small molecular size and are quickly absorbed. So when you apply um, an essential oil topically, it's all in the body cells within 15 to 20 minutes. And you can use them internally. So their Young Living has a line of essential oils labeled for internal use called the Vitality Essential Oil Line. So when you use that, it's gonna support a lot of different areas in your, um, it could be your immune system, it could be your gut health, um, when you ingest these, uh, you can also make capsules where you can have a concoction of your essential oils and then drink them in a, in a capsule form. All right. So some of the most commonly used oils are ones that we've found that we, we really love. If we um, get going with, let's start. Do we have any more? Oh, yes, I was going to say, I think we have another few, few of these. So this is how do they enter and how long do they last? And it's interesting that when um, they've been up applied in 26 seconds, it, they have been found in the bloodstream, the essential oils. So it's fast relief, for example, in case of a migraine to help cope with the pain and it lasts three to six hours, the effect. All right, we can go on to the next one. And this is just a little um, slide, slide of a fun fact, because we we're familiar with the Bible. We've heard of all listening to, in the Bible, essential oils that were given as gifts and they were very costly. Uh, we know frankincense, we've heard of myrrh. Um, mm -hmm. 
it's just it's it's super interesting it's always been something that as humans we've used to help cope with different ailments but now with people being more informed of the things that are in our products then it's it's slowly going back to that to trying to find more natural ways to combat our ailments so different grades of oils um, there's therapeutic grade, which is what we're going to talk about today. Uh, Young Living is the therapeutic grade. It's made from organically grown plants and distilled at low temperatures. So if you'd like to take some more notes of the different types of grades, you can take a screenshot, you can um, write them down. But I guess the most important is that we're going to be talking about therapeutic grade today. Um, Young Living has the seed to seal. And what does that mean? So we have some points of what does that mean? It means the plants are hand weeded. There's no pesticides, no chemicals, no weed killers. The um, plants are harvested at their peak. There's a vigorous testing process. And um, all of this is controlled from the farm to the home. So that's why it's such a good quality oil because the process has been controlled anywhere from the seed, the cultivation, distillery, testing, and then all the way to your house. So why do companies sell oils more cheaply? I think we all know the answer to this is to mm. save money. <laughs> Most mm. of the things that they can mass produce and this includes our food. Um, they can do it cheaply because they spray it with pesticides or they have a lot of chemicals or they mm -hmm. dilute it um, to make it last longer. So they cut corners basically. All right. So I think you were gonna talk about this slide, Lori. Yeah, just to show, you know, the amount of plants it takes to make a therapeutic grade essential oil. You see this, it says 60,000 rose blossoms for an ounce of rose oil. Um, lavender is a lot less, but it still takes 220 pounds to produce seven pounds of oil. Jasmine, it takes 8 million hand-picked blossoms to produce two pounds of oil. So it gives you an idea of Number one, the intensity of what you're getting, you know, the concentration of it, and also that it's, you know, it's not going to cost five dollars. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. You know, um, we wanted to talk about just a few little safety issues, you know, essential oils are safe, but like anything, we want to use them properly. So certain oils, particularly citrus oils are photosensitive, which means you would not want to go in the sun within like 12 hours of using them. So um, my suggestion is use them in the evening. Um, photosensitive oils, use them in the evening and by the morning you should be all right or um, use them where the sun don't shine. Um, the, also when we're using them on our skin, we wanna watch for redness and we want to use them with a the carrier oil if you have sensitive skin. Most of the oils I just put directly on my skin, but you know, when you're first starting, you might want to um, just make some caution with that. If you're going to use oils on children, that's perfectly safe and a great idea, but you want to um, dilute them more with carrier oils. For example, if you were gonna use them on a baby, you would use one drop of essential oil to like 30 drops of a carrier oil. Their skin is more permeable and, um, and they're a lot smaller than we are. So they need to be diluted. Um, pretty much you can use oils anywhere on your body. Everything is fair game except for your eyes and inside your ears. Um, if you do get oils, in your eyes, which I do occasionally, use some peppermint and then forget and rub my eye. You might feel a little burning. <laughs> Just grab the nearest carrier oil to you and rub it on your eye and you'll be, you'll be fine in about two seconds. Um, as like Melissa talked about, there are oils that are safe to ingest. Young Living has made it easy, very easy to identify which one those are because they have a vitality line. So you see this the contrast, this is the same oil, right? It's citrus fresh. 
So on the left, it has the solid um, label and on the right, it's a white background label. So all the oils that are in the vi vitality line or safe for ingestion have the white background like this does. The interesting part about it is it's actually the same oil inside there. So, um, but to make it very clear which ones are safe for ingestion because not all oils are. If it has a white label or it exists as a white label, you know that you're good to ingest it. There's about, I think about 47 um, vitality oils. So uh, speaking of carrier oils, what is a carrier oil? It's uh, a fatty oil like olive oil, coconut oil, almond oil, jojoba oil. The, the molecules are larger than um, essential oils. So um, you can use that to like dilute your, um, I shouldn't really use the word dilute. It's more like to make your essential oils spread farther. Um, Cause if you, if you mix them with a, a carrier oil, then you can spread it over a larger area of your body. And so this um, graphic is just some things to think about. Think about the ingredients of the products that are in your home right now. Like everyday things, we put our, our makeup, our um, air fresheners, our candles, whatever we use, and think about how many things you put on your body throughout the day. Um, the average woman applies over 300 chemicals to her body every day just through soaps, makeup, shampoo, and hair products, and 80 of those before breakfast. So, you know, it's, it's some food for thought as far as is that what we want to continue doing. So now we're going to get into the nitty gritty of the 12 oils, um, telling just to share a little bit about um, how you can use those. So Melissa is going to start with the first three, um, starting with lavender. So lavender oil has a calming effect and can promote restful sleep. The aroma can soothe stressful situations, stressful moments, and it promotes an, a peaceful ambience. So for lavender, for people that have um, anxiety or trouble sleeping, it could be a good oil to help diffuse in the home. You can also use it, instead of using perfume dryer sheets, you can make a lavender oil spray and lightly mist your linens out of the dryer, or you could put um, a few drops of lavender oil on the woolen dryer balls. So that's a good way to incorporate it in your home. Um, it also is great, great for skincare. A lot of people ask me, what do you do for skincare? This is what I use. Um, I love to use it because uh, lavender actually has, um, it's, it's soothing for your skin. So it has properties where you can use it even in the summertime to soothe sunburned skin. You can actually add it to your aloe vera gel. And if you've had too much sun, it'll help soothe that sunburn. Or you could also use the coconut oil. You can use um, lavender for serums. I make my own face serum and use lavender to help um, at night. And also you can use it for um, a nice uh, bath. You can dilute a few drops of lavender in a half a cup of Epsom salt. And the combination of the lavender oil and magnesium in the Epsom salt will help you relax your muscles and gently cleanse your body. You could also use it for a massage and it reduces the appearance of blemishes and it helps mature gracefully, <laughs> your skin mature gracefully. So there's a lot, a lot that can be said for, for lavender and a lot of uses and a lot of roller balls for anxiety. I mean, roller um, will have lavender as a main component or for sleeping. Also there's lavender vitality that it's good for ingestion and you can use it to make um, homemade lemonade and add a few drops of lavender in it. Um, I've had cookies with lavender, they're delicious, um, just to incorporate in, in your cooking. Now, if we go on to peppermint, this is one of my favorites. <laughs> so peppermint, 
um, it's a, it's, we know that it's, um, it's known for helping inflammation with the body. And so there's so many ways you can use they, There's even studies that have shown that if you smell peppermint before eating, you will eat less. So is not that interesting for all of us trying to control our weight? But um, you can use a peppermint for muscles, muscle exertion. So you can have a massage after working out. You can also use it for tension, headaches, discomfort. Um, if you get car sickness like I do, <laughs> it's, I, it's always in my purse because I do get car sickness for women that are pregnant and are in that first trimester or sometimes the whole nine months, but they have um, morning sickness, they can use the oil. It's very good and soothing. Um, not only topically, but internally. So peppermint is a great way to support your digestion. So you can um, put a few drops of oil into your water, into your water or your tea. And it's gonna help with your problems with digestion. It can help. It's so funny because um, in doing some research on what we could use peppermint for, I actually used it a couple of months ago. We had a ant problem and I didn't wanna use chemicals. So I was researching and I'm like, well, what, how do I get used? I don't, you know. <laughs> I don't want to get all this. Well, they hate, I found out that the ants hate peppermint and you can control mm -hmm. an ant infestation. So you just put yeah. it on a cotton roll and you just put it, I put it all over my kitchen. Ants were gone. I haven't had a problem mm -hmm. since. So it's just so many uses, but we got to move mm -hmm. on because our time is limited. <laughs> but I just love peppermint, so. There's, you can even Google it. There's so many uses for it. All right, next up is frankincense. So frankincense is an oil that promotes a feeling of peace and a happy mood. So it's very calming and grounding. You will see a lot of that also when you do anxiety or um, sleep combinations for your diffuser, it will have frankincense in it. Frankincense um, also is very powerful oil for the skin. It's great. It, it's great at reducing fine lines and wrinkles. You can put um, frankincense oil in um, some olive oil and it could be a natural moisturizer for you. It, it reduces redness, smooths wrinkles and brightens complexion. Um, in, this, in the serum that I make for my nighttime for my face, not only do I use lavender, but also frankincense. And it brightens up your skin. It's really good. I also make a nail serum to put on my cuticles. And uh, one of the key ingredients is frankincense. It helps with um, the health of your nails and um, your cuticle. Really good. Um, and you can also take it internally. There's a frankincense vitality. It helps support normal cellular health. And that's a crucial part of our overall health. All right. I think uh, next one is Lori's turn, thieves. Yes. So thieves, you might think that thieves, what kind of oil name is that? So it's a blend and it, it contains the oils, cinnamon bark, rosemary, clove, lemon, and eucalyptus. And it's inspired by the legend of four thieves in the 14th century who used the, those herbs while robbing the dead and dying during the plague. And they obviously survived. And as the legend goes that they were actually granted um, leniency on their sentence for what they were doing if they would disclose what they were using to enable them to withstand the sickness that was going around at that time. So it gives you a feel of what um, thieves oil is good for, right? We're talking about immune system support and regulation. So um, you can dif diffuse thieves to help purify the air, especially if you've been out and about or somebody in your home is sick, 
you know, you want to put thieves in your diffuser, um, you can use it as a wellness roller. I combine um, thieves oil with frankincense and lemon in a roller and I roll it on the bottoms of my feet every night um, for to keep me above the wellness line for immune system support. You can use it um, for oral care. Um, you could put a little bit on your toothpaste. As a matter of fact, um, this oil is so effective that Young Living has built a whole personal care and cleaning line around this Thieves essential oil. There's a cleaner called Thieves Household Cleaner, which I basically clean my whole house with and smells awesome. You know, you can imagine how it smells with the cinnamon and the clove and the lemon and, and it really works. And uh, probably you may have tried a natural cleaner before and perhaps not found it to be effective. <laughs> this one really works. Um, our friend Denise, who's on this call, has a cleaning business and she uses thieves like almost exclusively in her cleaning business and all her clients are happy and satisfied. So besides the cleaner, they also have a thieves mouthwash, a thieves toothpaste. They also have a thieves hand sanitizer which is a product that I am a huge fan of. Probably these days we're all using hand sanitizer more than we maybe want to. Well, what's really nice about this hand sanitizer, it's much easier on your hands. It does have the appropriate amount of alcohol at 65% alcohol, um, but the alcohol, instead of being denatured with chemicals, like most hand sanitizers, alcohol is, Young Living denatures, or in other words, denaturing is means they're putting something that tastes bad in the alcohol so people won't drink it. That's what that means. So they denature it with a, a lot of peppermint oil. So it smells really good. It smells like a combination of peppermint and all those thieves. Plus there's aloe vera in here. So it's effective and it smells good and it's easy on your skin. Then they also have, based on the Thieves essential oil, this Thieves spray. This also has alcohol in it, um, denatured with peppermint. And this actually made the CDC's list for appropriate cleaner for sanitizing um, COVID. It's on the CDC's list for that. So this is something that you would wanna um, throw in your purse and take with you when you're out and about, if you need to go to the store, spray the shopping cart handle. If you need to use a public restroom, use it there. This is always in my purse. Both of these things are always in my purse when I go out. So all of those are based on the thieves oil. But interestingly, the thieves oil also is a vitality oil. So you can also use it um, like in your tea. You can use it in jacked up honey. Um, so you can just basically any way you want to ingest it, you can put it in a little veggie capsule um, with a couple drops of carrier oil and swallow it. But it tastes really good, just spicy. So we put it in our tea all the time. And I think next up is Melissa with the lemon. Yes. So we all um, know lemon has antioxidant properties. That's why we drink a lot of lemon water. So with the lemon vitality, you can add actually the, the oil into your water to help flush out the toxins in your body. It helps with digestion. Um, we, you can, we can also, or we've used it with recipes. You can also cook with it. You, I've added it to my fish when I'm cooking fish. Um, and it tastes really good. You can add it to yogurt. You can add it to smoothies, desserts, hummus. There's so many ways you can incorporate it. And that, and when you incorporate it in your, in your meal, then you're still getting all the um, benefits, all the support to your immune system um, that you can get from just fresh squeezed lemon. And it also comes just as a regular oil and I love it to diffuse, to support your immune system. Um, it also is good for cleaning. When I've done with, with the Thieves Household Cleaner, I do my own concoctions of different things to clean my house. If you add a little drops of the lemon oil, it's great. It smells great and it helps um, with the cleaning solution. Uh, let's see. 
I think you're next. It's your special. Yes, I'm next. Okay. So um, lemon's more complicated cousin is citrus fresh. So <laughs> it's a, a blend with lemon, orange, tangerine, mandarin, grapefruit, and spearmint. So this is such a beautiful smelling oil because I love the, the citrus. It's so uplifting. And then you throw a little bit of mint in there. It's so good. So um, you can diffuse it. I always get compliments when I diffuse my that in my home. And it also it improves the quality of our air. Um, you can add it with your thieves household cleaner, like Melissa was saying. Similar, you can use it many similar ways to lemon. What's kind of cool about both lemon and citrus fresh is that the um, we all know we should put you know drink lemon water, drink orange water. But if we squeeze the actual fruit into our water, we're getting all the acid that's in the juice. But the oil, the essential oil is made from crushing the rinds. So you get all of the benefits without any of the acid. So your dentist will be happy too. Um, let's see. Do you remember what else I was gonna say about citrus fresh? Okay, yeah, just breathe it in because it smells so good. Um, also, you can put it on your nail beds to help your nails grow stronger. And you can use it to tighten skin anywhere you need for a little bit of tightening and firming of skin. So it's available in a Vitality or a regular. Um, I, I drink um, Ningxia Red every day, which is uh, an antioxidant multivitamin um, drink. And I love to put a drop of Citrus Fresh on top. It just like tastes so, so good. And just a reminder, it is a photosensitive oil. So if you're going to use it on your skin, do it at nighttime or when you're not going to be going outside for some period of time. And oh, next up is Digized. So this is my like true believer oil. <laughs> you know, I think we all have one oil that we started using and said, wow, this stuff really works. Well, Digize, I'm sure you kind of get the drift. It's for your digestive system. So it's in a vitality um, line. And if you're good, if you've eaten too much, if you're nauseous, if you can't go to the bathroom, if you're going to the bathroom too much, it helps all of those things. So there's a couple ways you can use it to help those things. Um, personally, the way I get the most action from it is if I put like about a shot glass full of water and then I add one or two drops of Digize to it, Digize Vitality and just um, shoot it down. I know other people who feel like they get more action from it if they rub it externally, like on their a problem area on the stomach or over the intestines or even on your feet. Um, it's not an oil that you're really going to want to diffuse because honestly, when you first smell it, when I first smelled it, I was like, I don't think this is for me, but, um, now I love the smell of it because I know how much it helps me. It's like, it feels like relief to me as soon as I smell it. So it's a combination of, um, tarragon, ginger, juniper, fennel, lemongrass, mm -hmm. anise, patchouli, you probably recognize a lot of those as being things that are known for, um, you know, soothing your digestive system. Yeah. If, if you have a bad case of indigestion and you just do a shot of water with a drop of Digize, instead of using Tums or anything like that, it Gross. works. <laughs> yes. If this isn't a TMI story, but I mean, I'm, I won't be too graphic with it, but we were out and about one day and I really needed to use the bathroom. Like, you know, like I needed to go. And I was like, oh my goodness, there's no bathrooms around here. What am I going to do? I'm like, let me try a couple drops of Digize. I've never really tried it in that way before. You know, my husband's like, I don't know if you should do that because Digize can also make you go, mm -hmm. you know, but it like calmed everything down and gave me a little window to find my bathroom. <laughs> so I mean, it's just kind of amazing how it can work e either way because of the way the oils work with our bodies, kind of like whatever you need, it can do, you know, regarding your digestive system. So I love that oil. And I, I feel like there's like nobody that I've given a sample to that it has not worked for, you know, it really, it's, 
an amazing oil. I could literally talk about digize for the rest of this hour, but I know you guys don't want to hear any more of my gross digestion stories. So we'll move on to um, Raven with Melissa. <laughs> okay, so this is my favorite oil. I've got asthma since I was a little girl. And so I always have problem breathing. Um, or the Raven oil is a blended oil. So it has, um, it contains eucalyptus and peppermint um, among other things. Mm -hmm. And what, what it does is that it helps you, it helps you breathe, like it clears you up. If you um, have a cold or a flu or asthma like me, um, instead of using other kinds of chest rubs, you can use some make your own chest rub with the raven some and some coconut oil and just rub it over your chest when i'm feeling um like because some when you have asthma some triggers um like mm -hmm. sometimes the really cold air when i'm feeling the tightness then i will put it in my diffuser and i have to tell you i sleep every night this is what i diffuse because it helps me breathe at night and sleep better so um I put it on my chest, I diffuse it. If you don't have an access to a diffuser and you need that help, you can also put a warm uh, hot water on a bowl, put a few drops and put your head over it with a towel and it helps you breathe better. Um, you can also apply it uh, on the balls of your feet and toes where the reflexes for the lungs and sinuses are located. So when you apply it to your feet, going to help you also bring some relief to you. Um, I, I have to say, I used to use my inhaler maybe not that often, but maybe once a month. And now I can't remember the last time I used it because if I feel the tightness in my chest, then I'll mm -hmm. diffuse that. And because I sleep with it every night, if, I'm, if I've got a cold, then I'll do my chest rub and put it on my chest. And it has helped me tremendously, tremendously. Um, so that's Raven for you. That is fantastic. What yes, that's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, I see why. Yeah, I think we're up for Panaway is next. Uh -huh. So this is, um, if you've worked out and your muscles are sore, if you have some head tension, um, this guy is your best friend right here. Now you might have noticed in both the picture of Panaway and Raven that there's a different cap on the oil. So those two are considered um, hot oils and it's recommended when you use them, you use them along with the carrier oil. You know, you can kind of try for yourself and see how you react to it. But um, so, so it's kind of like a safety cap that's on there. Um, what, the way my husband uses this a lot, he has um, flat feet. So he, you know, his whole life, he really hasn't been walking properly. So that's a lot of wear and tear on your ankles. So like before we go on a, for our, our walk in the morning, he'll sit down and he'll rub the pan away on there and some copaiba and some wintergreen, which wintergreen is also one of the ingredients in the pan away and just kind of, just kind of calms everything down, you know, um, you can use it on your um, Vitaflex points uh, that correlate to where you're feeling a little aches and pains. And it's, um, it contains peppermint, wintergreen, clove, and helichrysum essential oils. So um, it, that's really been extremely helpful to, to my husband and to a lot of people who have a lot of like muscle aches and pains or, or head tension too. So the next one we're going to talk about is Valor. So now we're kind of getting into the oils that are kind of like for dealing with emotions. So um, Valor smells fantastic. It smells so good. Do you love it, Melissa? Do you love the smell of Valor? I do. And my yeah. husband loves it too. Yeah, because it's, it's kind of neat because it's a... I think a woman can use it as a perfume and a man can use it as a cologne and it smells good on both, um, both persons. So it helps 
with relaxation, it gives a feeling of confidence and strength and endurance. So it's kind of like, I call it like my oil to use when I have to do something I really don't want to do. <laughs> I, mm -hmm. So the way I normally use it is I'll put a drop on the palm of my hand, swirl it in a clockwise motion, and then take three aromatic breaths. And it's just, it seems like it does a lot to just calm things down and to give you the ability to cope with what, what you have in front of you. Um, you. And then whatever's left, you can rub on the back of your neck or on your shoulders. And it just does a lot when you're dealing with things. It's, it's really the oil you want to go to, to help you just cope with with what you ha have in front of you to deal with. Some people also call this oil chiropractor in a bottle. If you go to a chiropractor for adjustments, you can um, apply it on your spine before you get your adjustment. And some people have uh, better adjustments when they do that. Um, the next oil we're gonna talk about is peace and calming. And I think the name kind of says it all for this one, right? When you need some peace and calming in your life, this is your best friend. So it's literally um, calmed and de-stressed millions of people. <laughs> so again, I use this one daily, the same way with the aromatic breath. I use this one at bedtime. It just kind of, you know, let the cares of the day go and get myself in a time and a um, frame of mind to go to sleep. And it really, really works for me for that. Also, if you want a little home spa experience, mix some with some Epsom salts, like Melissa was mentioning with lavender earlier, try it with peace and calming. You can use that, even if you're not a bath person, you can use it in the shower, is put your mixture of Epsom salts and peace and calming, just a scoop of it on the um, floor of the shower and the steam will bring all of that up and you'll have a very relaxing evening shower or obviously a bath. It's a nice little spa-like bath. And Melissa's gonna talk about the 12th oil, Stress Away. This is another one of my favorites <laughs> because who doesn't have stress in these times? Um, mm -hmm. Stress Away smells so good and it, it has a aroma that promotes relaxation and letting go of stresses and tensions. You diffuse or inhale stress away. You can apply it on your chest, neck, um, or feet to help you cope with stress more effectively. You can use it with Epsom salt as well in the bath, or you could dilute it in a um, carrier oil or um, for a massage. If you need a massage for a hectic day. Um, Stress Away also, it makes a good natural perfume. Um, it's it's because it's kind of sweet. I would describe it a little, a little bit of a sweet oil. I, I use it a lot for um, end of day, kind of when I'm tired or it's been a hard day and I just diffuse a little bit of Stress Away um, in my house or in my room or when I'm doing some reading it does help me kind of calm, stay calm. Um, but that's about it for the oils. I just wanted to share that when you use these um, therapeutic grade essential oils, you are uplifting your mind, and your body. It's, that's not the case when you use chemically made perfumes and products that create a toxic load on our bodies. So another one of those interesting facts is that when you burn a scented candle for one hour in your home, it has the same effect on your health as smoking a cigarette. And I used to be one of those big candle burners because, oh, I like the smell. But then I was using my inhaler every month. So <laughs> I was wondering why I was doing that. <laughs> uh, things that are detrimental to my own health. And... If, you, if all you change in your home is diffusing and inhaling a couple of Young Living essential oils a day and getting rid of your scented candles, air fresheners, scented waxes, reed diffusers, and perfumes, you will be significantly contributing to your health and well-being, um, both in the short term, short term and long term. So 
that's that's pretty much our presentation of the oils, how you can use them. There's something that I want to share, a little um, illustration, I guess, of the difference between, because I want to emphasize that it's also because they're young living um, essential oils because of the quality. That have we ever had, um, it's the cheese illustration. Have you ever had Velveeta cheese before? Raise your hand if you have. Oh, if I have? Yeah, in your life before. Oh, yeah. I used to. Uh-huh. And or Not has any more. <laughs> but have you ever eaten a fine European cheese? Yeah. Is there a difference? Yeah. There's a huge difference, isn't there? Yeah. I'm not and eating any cheese at all. <laughs> <laughs> not one. So there's a difference because quality does matter. Um, and Less so addictive. <laughs> <laughs> but in this case, with, with your health, quality matters. You know, it's what you put on your body, what you eat, um, what you ingest, all that's going to have an effect on you you know, in the, in the short term and in the long term. So yeah. um, when we talk about these essential oils and how we use them, it's really to help our well-being and our wellness. It's to help our families. And in, in, in this time that we live in also to help with stress and to help manage with all the situations that are thrown at us. And I think, Lori, you had a few, because we talked about 12 oils, we yes. you have yes. um, a, another slideshow, right? I do. Okay. Let me move this forward. You guys can see that okay? The, yeah. the graphic. So we talked yep. about all these 12 oils, and I think you saw both the um, diffuser that Melissa and I have, we have the same one up here behind us. And we talked about the hand sanitizer and the thieves spray and the two little packets of Ningxia Red, my favorite antioxidant whole food supplement drink. So all these things that are listed here are things that if you purchase them separately at retail pricing, it would cost $452. But mm -hmm. Young Living has carefully curated these, this collection of oils to kind of cover all the systems that, you, that we have. You know, we covered digestion, we covered your immune system, um, we covered um, pain relief, we covered emotional things. So uh, you can purchase, they have a special price of this kit. It comes together in this beautiful box that I have here. All those things for only one hundred and sixty-five dollars for new members. So and it includes the diffuser. Yes, with the diffuser, the twelve oils, and then the extra little goodies. So it's really a great deal for new members, and it also includes a um, wholesale pricing moving forward on anything that you purchase from Young Living, which means a 24% discount off of anything that you buy for the rest of your life, basically, as long as you want to buy something. So it's a really fantastic value. And it's also not the only kit that they have. This is the kit I started with and the kit Melissa started with, but they also have other kits, like there's one for kids, with this cute little owl diffuser. I don't know how well you can see that, but he's really cute. And there's another diffuser, the same oils, but just a different style of diffuser. Um, there's also a kit with the Ningxia Red, the antioxidant supplement, and there's a kit with the Thieves Cleaner. Um, well, it's the Thieves Cleaner, the sanitizer, soap, all the personal care products, mouthwash, toothpaste, and there's a CBD kit also. So there's all those different options. And um, Young Living has one other way to save money is they have an essential rewards program, which is like a monthly wellness box, where um, if you're, if you're um, getting things every month, like Melissa and I do, um, they offer you um, rewards points back. So you get um, 
the first months one to three, you get 10% back of what you purchase in rewards points. Months four to 24, you get 20% back. And month 25 upward, you get 25%. So every $100 I spend right now, I get $25 in points to buy other Young Living products. So mm -hmm. it's, you know, they do a lot of things to make this af affordable because really their, their mission is to have every home have these healthy products in it. So um, we're, you know, we're here for you. If it's something that you're interested in doing in, in, um, and anybody who signs up um, tonight is going to get a welcome gift from Melissa, from Melissa and I. And speaking of little gifts, Melissa put together a beautiful little gift for our raffle tonight. <laughs> He's got some excellent goodies in there. So let me get up, wow. get, get the um, raffle up. Hold on one second. While she's doing that, then I can tell you mm -hmm. my migraine tension roller recipe. Mm -hmm. So you get, you can get these at Amazon, the glass roller bottles at 10 milliliters. Mm -hmm. And I, I get carrier oils. I've got here uh, liquid coconut oil or I've got jojoba oil. It's up to you which one you get. But for my husband's migraine, this is what we do. We do 20 drops of the peppermint in here. Mm -hmm. Then we do... 10 drops of the Panaway. We do 10 drops of the lavender mm. for the tension. And then we do five drops of lemongrass, which you will be surprised to know that has anti-inflammatory properties. Mm -hmm. So then you put five drops of this, all goes in here. And then you fill it, the rest of it up with your Jojoba or coconut oil. Um, so when you do that, these are really easy to open like the cap. <laughs> you put it back, back together and you've got your oils. So you would rub it on your temples in the, in the middle of your forehead. You do it in the back or when you have a headache or migraine. Yes. And that's what you can do. And you can do that for, I had one for coping when my dad passed away, which helped me a lot when you mm -hmm. are feeling overwhelmed, when you have anxiety, there's one for anxiety, there's one for sleeping. You can, you can do all these. I go on Pinterest and that's how I mm -hmm. got my migraine one. And I combined different ones and until I we found what worked. And so oh. I wrote it down and that's my own little recipe for the migraine one. <laughs> it's nice. Do you, do you have um, eucalyptus? I did, we didn't talk about it. I'm, we didn't talk about it, but eucalyptus, I love it because of my asthma. Mm -hmm. I will do mm -hmm. uh, the raven and then add extra eucalyptus because it has it in it. Yeah, because uh, raven has eucalyptus. Yeah. But um, you don't have it by itself? Yes. Mm -hmm. there's, four, okay. there's actually four, I believe, different types of eucalyptus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me see if I can share this. And let me show you what's in my little, oh, for, thank you for coming. You'll get uh -huh. to try the Ningxia Red, which is the wolfberry antioxidant um, okay. drink. Then I'm going to give away... This is called a bottle of liquid sunshine. This is orange. It's, uh -oh. It smells so great. It gives you energy. You can diffuse it. It's, it's wonderful. What, I know Lori, this is one of her favorites. I love it. We diffuse this, it every <laughs> single day. <laughs> a sample of the hand sanitizer. Mm. And I have a story, if anybody wants to hear about that, of a friend ended up in the hospital <laughs> for using hand sanitizer that's been recalled by the FDA. <laughs> Yeah, and I know then, some stories. And then a lip balm. So you can try an all natural toxic free lip balm. All right. Thanks. I think I got everybody's name on here. Can you guys see the wheel thing? Yes. Oh, that is so cute. Is that everybody? 
Nidia, Veronica, Romina, and Dylan, right? That's okay. Thanks. Yeah. All right, let's see. Wow. Hey, that is so cute. No. Veronica. <laughs> Veronica. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that is so nice. That's awesome. So I will be putting this in the mail for you. <laughs> and I will be enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> so just one last thing we want to sh uh, share with you tonight. Thank you so much for joining. We yes, put thank a link you for your time. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate it very much. What about? We put a link for a um, Google Doc in the chat, if you don't mind giving us a little feedback on our class and is there anything else you'd like to have uh, join a class on. And we just want to close by saying, you know, um, if you if you uh, listen to what you saw here tonight and you're thinking, thanks, but it's really not for me, you know, that's perfectly fine. But if you're if you feel serious about using natural solutions for your home, for your body, for your family, and you want to try the products, um, you know, then Melissa and I are here to help you get the most out of it. And you can go ahead, we'll help you go ahead and get started with our premium starter kit. And if you if you're feeling a little if you're you know, think you want to get started with it, but you're feeling a little overwhelmed, don't worry. This is not something you have to do on your own. When you join us in this health journey, we're right here with you to guide you. We're, um, our team has some tremendous educational resources. Um, every Monday night, our, somebody on our team puts on a Zoom call at 8 p.m. on a variety of topics. And you are, you are all invited to attend that oh, meeting. Know that. Yeah. And also, you know, we can point you to the resources to, to learn how to use these oils. And um, we're just, we're here for you, you know? And also, um, wow, I just totally forgot what I was gonna say. So anyway, that's it. <laughs> Thank you for joining. And yep. if you're ready to get started, we're, we're here for you. Yeah, thank Can you. I ask a Wait. question? Sure. Yeah. Uh -huh. So with the starter kit, you have like some recipe that you can use for uh, the oil? Because mm -hmm. I will be like, <laughs> yes. So, so basically what you're saying is that you would need some recipes. Yes. Yes, we have tons of information mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> that and we can share. Point. Everyone that becomes a member receives this from our uh, team. And there's all kinds of information. Um, if you're not on Facebook and can't uh, be plugged into the team Live Well, which is our team on here, there's a phone number. And then there's all these different lists uh, that you can plug plug your this this. Uh, cooking, uh, thieves, uh, the red drink, uh, all kinds of different subjects. And then you'll get a little um, um, like information about it. So that's nice mm -hmm. too. Everybody gets one of these. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. But we do have tons of printouts and recipes. And if, if um, like she said, if you're on that Facebook team, Live Well, wow, there's so many st good things I've learned from there. How to do my own cleaning Melissa. stuff. Mm -hmm. Melissa, but do you have like a link to your page, to your yes. pers personal? Yes. So, send, so you send me your link. Yes, I will. So I can yeah. check um, and I can yeah. get stuff. Okay. Yeah, if you can okay. send it to me too. Um, I've used essential oils for years for mm -hmm. my migraines. Um, peppermint is my go-to. Um, whenever I need it and they are ex 